All right, good morning and sliding into afternoon. We have Teach Me Nana today, and we have guests. We have Zoe and Jennifer and my friend Valerie. We all do paper pumpkins, so we're everybody's joining in today. We're making it a creating time together because it is spring break, and we are all for spring break. So with that, we are doing the safari celebration, and we're doing alternative number three. And this is what we did with last month, and I framed it. We made a six by six, and today we're making another six by six, except we're doing it with our party celebration. So here we go, let's go down the hand, and let's get started. Yep, just go down. Just a minute, we're on different technology today. Again, all right. We're not sure what happened with the other technology, so we're going over to just using the phone here. And we're gonna go down to the hands and we're gonna get started with our six by six. So here we go. So you're gonna have to bear with us a minute as we go down to the six by six. And we're just gonna make this here. So I just wanna show you, yeah. I'm gonna show you here, here's the paper pumpkin kit and we're just using pieces from here, all right? So we are gonna have to start off with, I'm gonna put this aside. So, you wanna hold it right there? Okay, so actually we're going so old school that Zoe's gonna hold this for us right here. All right, so what we have here is you will have to have a base, okay? So I actually here, I've just used a six by six. You can use white. This is very vanilla, any color you want, cause we're gonna cover it up, all right? So the first thing we did is we're actually taking the card that's in the kit and we're gonna cut it down to a six by six. And yes, you're gonna have this scored line here, but it's not gonna matter because it's gonna end up being covered up. So with this then we're gonna actually put some, you can use dots or tapes, whatever you have here. Uh, I'm sorry, it's not gonna be six by six. You're just gonna cut the, just cut the card stock to six, okay? And then it's gonna be a little short, but we're gonna cover that up, all right? Well, that stuck to me. All right, I see the glue there. All right, so we're just gonna put some glue dots on here. If you have a tape runner, that's fine. This is what's in the kit, the glue dots. And I'm just gonna put these down. And usually I do have my, my tape bill here to speed up time a little bit, but that's okay. For the moment, somebody's gonna go grab that for me. And so all we're gonna do is just take this off and you know what, you can easily, oh, that one didn't stick there. Most I stuck to me more than it did there. Okay, thank you. All right, so we're just gonna take this off and we're just creating together. So actually Valerie is creating, Zoe's creating, she's not creating this with us, but she is actually creating, doing, what do you call that? Finger, Finger knitting. Finger knitting. All right, so all you're gonna do is line this up with the bottom here. And we're gonna lay that out here, right here, okay? So you can see that's gonna be a little short, but we're gonna cover this up, okay? So this here is a piece that we cut from the envelope. So we literally, I took the seam of the envelope and cut along the seam of the envelope on both sides. And then I just cut off a one inch strip off the side. So I had choices. I could either have put it like this but in my particular case, I'm going like this, all right? So, and if there, some of it comes out a little fuzzy, just take your fingernail, run it across there, it'll come off, all right? Because we made it from the envelope. Now we're just, again, gonna take our glue dots, or in my particular case, to make it a little bit faster here. I'm just going to go ahead and do this here. But everything you need comes in a kit, all right? So even if you wanna make alternatives, it comes in a kit, right? Okay. So all I'm gonna do is take this and I'm just gonna do the just the opposite I just did. I'm gonna start at the top and the edges and glue it down. All right, so now I've got my complete six by six of what it's gonna look like. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I actually have got a photo that I'm gonna sort of work around, all right? So I'm actually gonna put this photo in the center, right about here. I want a little bit of the yellow to show there. I'm gonna center him right here, but I'm gonna do it on dimensionals. So I got my dimensionals handy here. He, they came in the kit. And I'm just gonna put him right here. Because this guy reminds me of a monkey. Um, I cut it down to one inch. 
So you're doing it across here. Okay, it's okay. In the end, we can trim it. Okay, so I'm gonna have some stuff. So uh, Valerie's asking me if it, uh, hers goes over. If it goes over, don't worry about it. Cause I'm fixing, when I get through with this, I'm gonna have some pieces that are gonna go over. And all we're gonna do is take the scissors and trim it all off. Okay, so well, yeah, you know, that's fine. Um, I don't have an extra one. If you just wanted to model around the one I have, I might have another one of him in there that's the size. So yeah, because at first that's what I did because I wasn't sure. So I just sort of used it to model around him. So just sort of center it if you want to. You can off center if you want to. Now I didn't press down real hard on that because I've actually got this set up that I wanted this behind here. And let's see if I mess it up. Okay, so this is actually in the kit. And I just did it to add a little difference in dimension there. Okay, I'm not worried about that moving because it's not gonna move. And I actually did two of them. I did one there. And I'm gonna do one right here. All right, I'm just gonna tuck it under there. Sometimes I get a little ahead of myself, especially like today's like today when the technology all of a sudden glitched and you weren't ready for that. So they just sort of throws everything a little off. All right, so I just did that just to add a little something, okay? You don't have to do that if you want. If you feel your pictures are gonna not gonna do right there, like that's gonna lift up now. But it's okay, all right? I'm just gonna put another dimension right here. Because, you know, the dimension's gonna change the height. So all you gotta do is lift it there, and I'm gonna lift it. Uh, let's see if I can get that under. Yeah. All right, I'll stick it there. Now, if that bothers me, so I'm good there, all right? So I've got this cute little monkey that reminds me of this guy. It's like a monkey. He gets in and out of this container with the balls in it. Like I tell you, I'm always inspired. I'm always, grandkids always inspire me. So I'm actually gonna put this monkey right here. Now this monkey's gonna go over and that's okay because like I said, we're gonna trim at the end. And I'm actually gonna put the monkey on a dimensional, but I'm not gonna do it here, all right? I'm not gonna tag his photo with a dimensional. I'm gonna put it on the monkey's back here. And you can see that when I do it, it'll put it at the same height. And then I'm gonna put one at the shoulder right here. So if you're not sure, just mark it. So you know where it's gonna go. And that way it's not gonna show through, but he, the monkey's gonna be anchored in spot. Let's see here. So see, when I get through with the monkey, it's gonna be like that. So am I gonna be cutting off part of this? Yes, I am. All right. I'm inspired with the cuteness and the, the stuff that this little one gets into. And the monkey and him go together. Oh yeah, it's like monkey business. All right, so I'm gonna trim this at the end. All right, then all I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna add some of the stuff we have here, right? This one I'm gonna add to the top. All right, and I'm gonna add it where it's gonna come over. It's gonna go over like this. So I'm not gonna have the whole leaf. I'm just gonna have part of the leaf, right? And I do want a little dimension to this. I'm gonna put some, I don't have any small ones in this kit. All right, if I had, so if you wanted to make it just a little bit, so I'm gonna make it about like right here. So it's gonna be the same dimensions. If you did not want yours to be the same dimension, then what you need to do is to sit up there and use a smaller dimension. I really don't want it to be on it. I want it to be sort of floating on the picture. All right, so it's a little big. So all I'm going to do is cut this dimension in half. You can cut them in half. It's okay. If not, just use the rim of it as well. Either or will work. So you're not really seeing that behind there. If I need to trim it a little bit more, because I don't want to see it through, right? I don't want that to show. I want to focus on the funness of this card and the picture, right? Okay, I need to trim it just a little bit right here. That's so all you gotta do is just trim it. Use your scissors, they're nice and pointy and sharp. Use those points. Okay, didn't, still didn't quite get it. Let's see here. I don't wanna cut the flower, but I want what I want, right? Okay, I got most of it there. All right, okay, thanks. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I put it over the picture here and it's just gonna cross over like this. And you know, you don't have a picture right now, that's fine, you can still do it. Just go ahead and put your components on there and then you'll slide the picture in. So if you don't have your picture yet, just build it and then we'll just put the stuff around here as if you did have a picture, okay? 
So the other thing, I'm gonna add some more. So I have some more here that I can easily add. And I have some here that I'm gonna tuck behind the monkey here and add it here. Which now this, huh, those I slid behind the picture here. And so like this one here, I'm just gonna loosely get that in there with a dimensional and I'm gonna use a little bit smaller dimensional. Yeah, I actually sort of secured mine down with my dimensional that I had for the picture, and then I, um... Yeah, but I don't have yeah, it, so I'm yeah. just gonna do it this yeah, way. Yeah, do it that way. That'll work. So she's actually using the glue dots, and that works just fine. Now, what I like about the leaf is you can easily put the leaf any way you want, all right? So I would tell you, don't sweat the small stuff. And the other thing is, is since we're gonna hide the bottom part of this leaf, I can just put the dimensional there at the bottom, and all I'm gonna do is come behind the monkey here and I'm gonna tuck it. So if you've ever done floral arranging or anything, you know you know it's all about hiding different stuff, right? Okay, so the green one, I'm gonna do the same thing. Now the green one, I'm gonna use a taller dimensional or I could do it right here. I'm gonna do a smaller one right there that'll work too, either or. And I'm just gonna hide it and I'm gonna, and I'm gonna trim it off, right? So the whole thing's not gonna be showing. It's not gonna, you're not gonna see the whole thing. So I'm gonna come under here and do the same thing. Some of the leaf is not gonna be there, but I'm not trying to cover up Mr. Awesomeness either here. I'm trying to capture him and his, his playfulness. Now these, these here I've done, and these are just the punch outs from the set. Die, they're already die cut and you just have to you know, get them out. So all I'm gonna do is pl you know, just put them around is all I'm gonna do, all right? So I can easily do that with a glue dot. Let's see here. And the thing is, is the glue, the nice thing about these little glue dots is they'll stick and you can roll it, okay? And what I mean by rolling is it's, it's bigger than the piece of paper I put it on, right? And I don't want it to show and stick to other things, so all I do is just take my nail, or you could take the scissors, or anything else you're comfortable with, it doesn't matter. Don't sweat the small stuff, and I've got it stuck down, okay? If it didn't do right, just I would just roll it with a paper and to get it where you want to, so it doesn't show and stick to something else. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing with this one, and I'm gonna do the same thing with the other one. Zoe might have a scarf or something finished, I don't know by the time we get through. Maybe, she says, I don't know. She says, you're making me hold a camera as you do this because our other technology did not work right. <laughs> but she's still smiling and talk to me and we're gonna make sure she is well fed for lunch at one of her favorite places because it is her birthday week. <laughs> yeah, right? So we have a giveaway tonight on YouTube at 8 p.m. and one tomorrow night. And then it is over for the birthday week. Again, I'm, I'm not gonna keep it on here. It's gonna let it go off and it's just gonna give it a little bit different character, right? Go at one more that I'm gonna add. And then we're, then we're done with this part of it, okay? And the reason why I leave the other stuff loose because I want it to feel leafy. I'm gonna actually put this in a frame just like the one I showed in our brief deal earlier before we had our blip are glitching, but they're frozen. And I'm just gonna come down here, and I'm not gonna go too far, okay? Because the reason is, is I actually, I do want it to go a different direction than that one. So I can actually tuck this underneath, right? And I'm just sort of gonna curve it so it looks like it's coming down here. And it's gonna, the reason why is I'm actually going to put a tag, and I'm not sure where this tag's gonna land. But I have two things I'm gonna stamp. This one here, I am gonna stamp with, I had two blocks here. I originally had two blocks here. They're right here, dear. Okay, thank you. you. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. And, all right, we sort of got them stuck together when we threw them in the box there. All right, so this one here, I'm gonna put, you did it. And then the other one, I am going to get something else. So I'm actually gonna, so when I do this here, I'm gonna center this because I'm gonna trim it down, all right? 
I gotta make sure my stamp's got ink really good on all of it. All right, now I'm just gonna come right here and center it right here. See, there we go. And then all I'm gonna do is trim it from here. So when I trim it, part of it's gonna be trimmed right here at the edge, okay? So I'm not gonna worry too much about this. But I didn't want this quite as big here. So I'm just gonna take my scissors here and I'm gonna just come down. I call it a smidgen. It's most probably an eighth of an inch if you wanted to be technical about it. It's not a quarter of an inch, I know that much. A quarter of an inch thicker. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. And I'm just gonna come again and do the same thing. I call it a smidgen. You might call it something else, but I'll call it an eighth of an inch. You know what? And if I still don't like this, I'll trim it some more, right? Because we can, it's ours. All right, you think that's okay, Zoe? You think I should trim it smaller? Yeah. You okay with that? Mm -hmm. Okay, Zoe is okay with that. So all I'm gonna do now is put some dimensionals. I'm gonna do it on the bottom, right? It has to be below here, because it's on the picture and it's the same height. So I'm gonna put one at the bottom here. So I got my foam stuck to me. Okay, and then I got one there and I'm gonna put one right here. Here toward the end here. All right, and I'm gonna put it on. And then I only have one more thing I wanted to stamp and put on here. And uh, you're just gonna have to bear with me a minute as I go grab it, cause it's in the box over there. So I'm gonna grab me. Oh, Mallory's here. Mallory goes, I feel like Jennifer here, man. I am your backup. <laughs> I am your backup crew. Just a second. I had a circle earlier. Okay. So we're going to use this here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to use this whole thing. I'm going to end up cutting it in half. Or it won't be quite half. It'll be whatever it takes. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> not everything's exactly precise. Sort of like a smidgen here, a smidgen there. It's, it's no different than making those homemade cookies at nighttime about 11.30 p.m. with some cold milk that we have gotten used to here lately. I'm actually gonna stamp this this color, and if we don't like it, we're gonna change colors. So you're gonna have to tell me if you like it. If not, I'm gonna do it in the yellow. So originally, I was gonna put it up here. Do you think you like it better in yellow? Okay, we'll do it in yellow. And we're gonna put this here. So actually, I'm stamping off over here. You can't see me. I'm just trying to make sure I get all my color off since I don't, since I do not have my stamp cleaner. We've been creating this morning. So we all came together at spring break for us. So we're creating. So we sort of got things in different areas. And we haven't had any major catastrophes other than me dropping something on my toe. <laughs> <laughs> Which provided entertainment for everybody to scramble for an ice pack. So, there you go. That's what it's like in this household at spring break. <laughs> Did you put the monkey down before the leaves? Yes, and I tuck the leaves underneath and I put them on dimensionals. Guys, it just gives me flexibility. I mean, that's really up to you, how you wanna do that. Now, so, you put the uh -huh. monkey on a big dimensional or a small dimensional? Mm. I put him on a big one. Okay, so this here, you like that better, the yellow better? All right, so all I'm gonna do with this up here is I am gonna center this right up here with those bows right there. And I'm just gonna put this on low dimensionals. Did you take the low dimensionals? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, by the low. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's all right. This is, you know, if you've ever been to our retreats, um, you know, we create together via Zoom. And uh, like today we're doing this here. And, you know, once a month we get together and do this live. And so, uh, you know, you're trying to cater to the audience here and also to the people that you're with, creating with. And it's, it's always fun and interesting. So I'm just, I'm just getting it up to the edge because I can, right? It looks centered to you, Zoe? Mm -hmm. All right. So at this point, I am finished with the exception of flipping it over and trimming. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to come along this edge here and I'm going to trim. Snip. Snip along, right? Snip. And if it doesn't, if I come on the other side and flip it back over and I feel like I still got to do some more, I will. But that's basically, that's why I wasn't sweating everything hanging over. Let me throw this in here. 
So that's all I'm doing is I'm coming along. This. For me, it was easier than going and measuring each piece and saying, how big does it need to be? Well, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not talking about the need for speed, but hey, we're in a different generation of people that want to know how they can do things quicker. It's all about time. But I do have to work on cutting straight, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So that might take a little bit more time than the need for speed. All right. So we're just going to trim it all off. And you know what? I'm not looking at all the colors. I'm not looking at the monkeys. So I'm not cringing. I've just got the back side here. And it's like, just cut and get it straight. All right. So how does that look? Whoop, whoop. Now, if you thought the yay was too small, I don't know. What do you think? There you go. So it's just something cute and fun to do in a six by six. You know, we can tailor this down. I love tucking the leaves here, there, and yonder if I can. If this is too much, I guess what? You just come on the front side and say, you know what? We will take care of you. There you go. And see, we took care of it. And now we got it all squared off by six by six and it's ready to go in a frame. Boop, boop. So the last but not least is the bling. So the bling here is I just used the sponge from a year ago and I just used the different colors that we've gotten in the kits. This would be Bumblebee. This is Old Olive and this is the Razzle, what is that called? Razzle, Rich Razzleberry. I don't call it Razzle Dazzle. But anyway, I just got right. And so I just keep on adding it and letting it dry until I get the color I want it. So from here then, here's my bling. My bling are these little rocks that came in the kit. And I just colored them. So I did them. I was going to say, mine aren't colored. So no, you colored them? I colored them with a sponge. Yep. So, oh, so you just, you used um, Stampin' Up! ink and colored them? Yep. Okay. I just used, I used the ink. So all she, what she's asking is, is, all I did is took this ink pad. And I think she's missed out on some of the ones. And maybe you've missed out too of some of the ones we've done in the past. Mm -hmm. And what I do... See if I took that off. My, that one's the yellow one. So you can't see that one too much. So what you do is you just take the sponge and we just do that over that with the bling. And you color it. And that's done. So you just do it until you get the color you want and desire. Yep. That's cool. Okay. All right. So with that, that ends. Let's see here. <laughs> Zoe's like, thank goodness, Nana. All right. Can you see me, Nana? Soon, huh? yes. yes. All right. So that's it for Teach Me Nana for today. That was, yes, Safari Celebration Alternative Number Three. Next week we'll do Alternative Four, and it will be a twelve by twelve that we'll be doing, just to show you that you can do other things besides just make cards with the paper pumpkin kits. I love to make cards, but I also like to give you options and choices as well too. So with that. Be blessed, have a great week, have a great weekend. Create, share, and give to someone. And if you don't follow us, please follow us. We're here on Facebook, we're also on YouTube, and we're Instagram and Pinterest. See if I can always remember all those. So be sure to like us and follow us today. And tomorrow we're still giving away for Zoe's birthday week on YouTube. So if you haven't subscribed and you haven't told us what you'd like to win out of the list that Zoe provided, do so so you can be put in the drawing this evening at 8 p.m. Central Time. All right. Bye, and we will see you next Friday at noontime for the fourth and last alternative for this month. Bye. Bye.